No doubt about it, the nerves have been jangling in the last few days, but very soon the wait will be over. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a thrilling finale. It is Club Rouge facing Standard Liège. Hi, Derek. Well, it's been a long journey for both these teams, hasn't it? It's not been an easy road for them, but all those players out there will be looking forward to this 90 minutes, a cup final, trying to make history for their clubs manager will be saying to them keep your cool don't make any silly mistakes and let's see if we can put a trophy in that cabinet looking forward to this so we can check on the starting lineup 
Well, as a team, Lee, they love to apply almost suffocating pressure. Based on the lineup, do you expect the same approach today? Yeah, I think so, Derek. It makes it really difficult for the opponents to find their rhythm unless their touch is absolutely perfect. It forces mistakes, so I'd expect we'll be seeing plenty of that from them today. This is what they'll be up against today. The tactical battle is going to be highly instructive. Tim, 4-3-3 on one side and 4-3-3 on the other lead. Well, when you match systems up, it's all about individuals. Who can get the better of the player you're playing against? And in this formation, certainly the wingers are going to be key on either side. And the long striker, when the balls come in the box, he needs some support from one of those three midfield players making runs into the penalty area. The game begins. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Now with Casella Gonzalez. Lestien. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Has a go. And up for grabs up. And with that, they take the lead. Well, just look at the celebrations, Derek. The fans are starting to believe it's theirs. Well, here's the replay. The keeper's made a save, but it's not good enough. It's back into play. First to react, and it's in the back of the net. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. A sloppy pass. Clinton Mata. The possession lost, intercepted. Clattered away. Bastia. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Opportunity it is. Short corner it is. It's been whipped towards the near post. Not all that convincing defensively. There's not a great margin for error when it comes to hitting it on the volley, Lee. No, it's a really difficult technique, but it's worth a go. He had a go and he failed, but he'll get another chance. Tao. Cross towards that far post. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. It is to be a throw-in. Matt Ritz. Ritz. Dennis. Extremely sloppy in possession. 
Good looking ball, there could be a chance now. And space for the cross. Will he finish? Oh, surely. Well, the post getting in the way there. And thumped away. Well, if that goes in, Derek, this game would have a very different complexion about it. But as it stands, it still could go either way. Give it away. Renault Emon. Wonderfully weighted pass. Well, as the attacking side, you might dispute it, but offside by a hair. Yeah, spot on from the linesman. Spot on, but he was close. Goiko Simirot. Gabori. Good numerical situation. Fend over towards the back post. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, Derek, it's all about the cross. It's perfectly weighted. And he attacks the ball, that's the key to that goal. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Second goal for them here. Delhi with it. Okereke. Now they've lost it. Megdi Carcera Gonzalez. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Match rates. Rude former. Tau. Untidy in possession. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Oh, he's through here. Can't miss, surely. Still alive. Sufficient accuracy with the header lead. Yeah, he got there as well. It was all about could he get it on target, but when you see how far he missed, wow. Measure it. Mata. That is that for the first half here.
partido. Un tanto para reducir la diferencia. El referí marca la infracción.
a special one-off occasion to bring you coverage of tonight. It's the final of the Europa League. It is Atalanta up against Celtic. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here. Both teams have the added advantage of if they win this competition, a Champions League place is available. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. It's with Toloi, it's with Jerome. The starting 11 for Atalanta. Andrea Massiello plays with Rafael Toloi in central defence. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Now they couldn't do anything with that particular cross. Here's the Celtics starting 11. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. A wonderful intervention. Are getting right in their opponent's faces, forcing that hurry clearance, and a throw it'll be. Forrest. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this. It's a weighted pass. Timothy Castagna. Martin Deron. It's with Zapata. Boringoli. Morgan. Now with Ryan Christie. It looked as though he might have been onside, but he was just a fraction off. Oh, I'm not so sure. I'd like to see that again. Now Palomino here. Martin Deron. Freiler in possession. Duban Zapata. They couldn't maintain possession. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. He's going to be disappointed with that pass. Shot attempted. Well, it might still work out for them. Well, I just wondered to myself how important that save will be come the end of the game. Really important goalkeeping to keep it all square, wasn't it? Well, the cross that time completely overcut. It is to be a throw-in. Now Palomino here. It's with Daron. Remo Freuler. Martin Daron. Was in the right place to intercept. Will he finish? And a goal! The first of the contest! Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. Wow, what technique. When the ball comes to you and you don't need a touch and you can just whack it first time like this. What a goal! Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? The opening goal of the game, then. Hans Hattabor. Ilicic, looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. A good and fair challenge. 
Brown. And can he deliver accurately? Not really the ideal clearance. Masiello. Martin Deron. Ilicic. Timothy Castagna. Gomez. What can he do from here? And that's an important intervention. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. There will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Wonderful block. Well, I have to say, we're disappointed that has come to an end. A thoroughly watchable first half in this Europa League final, Lee Dixon. Well, you're right, Derek. Sometimes the half-time whistle comes too soon. We wanted to see more of that. Let's hope we get it in the second half. Brilliant game so far. What a final. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. But well, he was in the right. che prendono posto sul terreno di gioco facciamogli sentire il calore del pubblico romano forza
segue l'intervento, recupera palla. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here in the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Athletic Bilbao, and they take on Angers. Well, we started with 32 teams, Derek. Seems like an eternity ago. Now we're down to the best two. I've not played in Champions League final. I surely wish I was playing tonight. Turn the clock back. Let me run out there, please. Davchichi with it. He's going forward well here. Great block. Well, let's run the rule over the Athletic Bilbao starting lineup. Yuri Davchichi plays with Kappa. Can he give them the lead? And options in the center. Kappa. It's got to be. Well, no accuracy at all in terms of the shot unleashed. Well, it's the care and attention, all that work to get in the position and then way, way wide. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Lee. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, when you're playing against a player, sometimes you're trying to look 
Nothing wrong with that idea. Opportunity it is. That is goalkeeping of the highest order and of the bravest order as well. Well, it's not all about tipping balls over the bar and round the post. It's about being brave and diving at players' feet. And just couldn't keep the ball. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Straight down the throat of the opposition. An abundance of space. Mongani. A case of... Can he put it away? And the opportunity for the opening goal goes begging. Well, the stalemate should have been broken there. It's a real terrible miss. Kappa. Yerai. It's with Garcia. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Here's Benyat. Now Munyai. Aduris. Will he finish? Going for power there. But just too much elevation on the short lead. Yeah, over the bar, Derek, with pace. He's a little unlucky. Gocicci with it. And here's Kappa. Now the pass not finding its target. Bamba. The ball with Toma Mongani. Lost it. This could be an interesting avenue. Mongani. Excellent ball over the top. The offside flag had to go up, and it did. Yeah, look along the line. Look along the line. And this is it, the final of the UEFA Champions League. It's where everyone wants to be. Only two sides can accomplish that feat. And Lee, it's going to be fascinating to see what happens tonight. Well, it is. It's the big part here. It will be after the game. But as players, it's very difficult to try and stay in the moment and not get carried away. And that's the job of the senior players in the dressing room, but also the coach. Look around your team, see the calm ones, have a word with them, get them to pass the message on. Stick to the game plan, go out and win the game. Danny Garcia. Just time to play it over. And it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. Space on the flank. And can he deliver accurately? It's in! Champions League final. Oh, it's a fantastic moment. What a moment for the players. And what a moment for those supporters. Well, Derek, it's all about the cross. It's perfectly weighted. And he attacks the ball. That's the key to that goal. 1 0 then. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. It's with Garcia. It's with Williams. Moving the ball effectively. And it's played into the centre. The cross was very much on, but not the end result they were hoping for. And there's the whistle, half-time it is, a radiant Champions League final up to this point, Lee. Well, nervous, cagey, boring, not so this final. This has been a really entertaining game so far. Looking forward to more of the same in the second half, Derek.